Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to our brand new show, The Virtual Animals. I'm Sandeep from Minute of Animals and with me my friend, Manadeep. Hi. So you might be wondering where we are actually in, right? And you guessed it right. We are inside the world's most dangerous animal and the apex predator, the great white shark. Keep watching the episode as we will be exploring the different parts of the shark and we will also reveal the most of the information that you would appreciate. Let's do this. Have you ever wondered how sharks can easily move inside the water? Well, the secret lies deep inside its skin. In order to show you that, we need to zoom a little bit more to reveal the secrets. The shark skin is made up of millions of tiny little teeth-like structures known as dermal denticles. And these dermal denticles are pointing backwards. But why backwards? As this enables the water to flow freely on the surface of the shark so that it doesn't have any resistance and this makes the shark move freely inside the water. Now, let's zoom out. Well, there is another organ which can actually assist the shark in move freely inside the water known as dorsal fin. Usually, this dorsal fin is referred as the first dorsal fin and the second one is at its back. These dorsal fins act as a gyroscope and prevents the shark from rolling over while it is swimming and hunting for the fish by providing the utmost stability. Also, this dorsal fin will help in reducing the water drag while it is swimming inside the water. Well, the shark has 5 to 7 pairs of gills as you can clearly see. The water enters through the mouth and it is coming out through the gills. While it is coming out, the blood capillaries which are present inside the gills has the ability to fetch out the oxygen directly from the water. And in order to take this process to happen, the shark must be continuously in motion without having any halts. That means the sharks can never be asleep. But this is not true for all the sharks as some sharks like tiger sharks have special organs which makes them asleep. How do sharks can actually afloat in the water? Well, the shark's body is made up of cartilage instead of bones. This makes the shark weigh less. Another organ which helps the shark to stay afloat in the water is the liver. Well, this liver can make up 25% of its total body weight. And this liver is filled up with the oils having less density than the water. Sharks use the special technique known as electroreception to identify its prey even when it is hiding inside the sand. For this, they have a built-in electroreceptors which are very conductive to the electric fields generated by other prey. This makes the prey no chance to escape. Thank you so much for watching this episode and please do subscribe to our channel Minute of Animals. If you like this episode, Please don't forget to watch our previous episodes where we featured different species of animals in the field.